After nearly three years of work and countless missed opportunities, Jet Webb finally has Hogzilla in his sights. But a bad shot could wound and anger the massive beast, putting Jet's life in danger. I was not able to get a clear shot. I had to wait. When he finally gave me a clear shot, I took it. One shot, he dropped. I heard a shot. I knew that there was a pretty good chance Jet had taken down the big one. Jet's years of tracking and baiting had finally paid off. He laid the ferocious monster to rest. Jet Webb had done what no one else could do. He killed Hogzilla. In the moonlight, it looks as though the other hogs have taken off after hearing the shot. But Jet fails to scan the area with his night vision scope before coming down from the tree, a mistake that could cost him his life. Jet took this video as he approached the slain beast I was blown away. Words cannot describe really what I was looking at. It, it was really hard to believe just how much bigger this thing was than, than what the, the cameras had shown me. Then Jet sees something that stops him in his tracks. Piglets. I know for a fact Mama was somewhere in the close vicinity. And if I had spooked one of these piglets and they ran off squealing or she thought that there was a threat with those pigs, she would have came in gassed up and ready to do some harm. This had the potential to be a very dangerous situation. As a matter of fact, that was probably one of, if not the most dangerous situation I've been in since I've been hunting. I knew I had to put as much distance between me and those piglets as I could and try to do it as quietly as possible. For 40 or 50 yards, I was soft stepping, slow walking, trying to avoid sticks, just trying to ease out of the immediate area. But the danger is not over. Jet and Corey have to begin the arduous task of retrieving the slain beast's body. We were loaded for bear. We had shotguns, buckshot. Both of us had sidearms. We both had super bright lights, trying to spook hogs out of the area. Got back in there, no piglets. And when he saw the size of the beast, he said, Jet, there's no way we can drag this out. In that time, I was in awe. It was that massive of an animal. It looked like a hybrid between a grizzly bear and a wild hog. You know, being firemen, we're highly trained in how to move bodies and how to get heavy things out of a house. There was no moving this hog. Jet and Corey resort to pulling him out with an ATV. Once they arrive back at camp, they can finally weigh the massive beast. They put him on the biggest scales they could find. And Hogzilla crushed them. He maxed out a pair of 500-pound scales real easy. This has by far been the biggest pig that I've ever seen personally. The hunt is finished, and Jet has won. Now, I knew we were dealing with a big pig, but it's hard to gauge size in a photo. When you see something in person, it really brings out the awe factor and the wow of, oh my gosh, I, I can't even believe there's something this big that was running around in the woods. It, it, it really blew my mind. 